Hi, welcome to Vizlib. In this video, we'll show you how to install Vizlib Server. The installation's quick and easy, but before you start, there are some things to check. Vizlib Server works as a back-end solution for the enterprise versions of Collaboration or Finance Report. So to start, install Finance or Collaboration in your Click Management console. There's a tutorial on our website which shows you how to do this. On our community site, the Vizlib Server Prerequisites article has all the information you need to prepare an installation. And there's an installation guide containing the instructions we're using here. To save the software, go to the server download page. Download the version you'll need and also copy your license key because you'll need it later. But now you're ready to go. Log into the server, upload the installation file and click to open the startup screen. Click next to start, read and accept the terms and conditions and then click Next again. Now you can enter your username and password for the Vizlib Management Console, or VMC for short. You'll use the VMC to manage your server settings. Now it's important to make a note of your username and password here. They can't be recovered if you forget them, so you'll need to start again from the beginning. Once you've checked that the passwords match, click Next. The database information screen creates an account called Postgres, which you can use for connections and queries. So enter the port and a new password, and then click on Next. In Server Information, you configure the Vizlib server connection to ClickSense. For security reasons, the PFX certificate needs to include the correct server URL, so check the prerequisites document if you need more information about this. Enter your server name, the port you're going to use, select PFX as your certificate type, and choose the file path. Once you're happy with all this information, click on Next. Click on Install to start the installation. It should only take about a minute to complete. Once that's done, click on Finish and the VMC should launch automatically. Enter your username and password to log into the VMC. Paste your license key into the new license box and click Update License. Check the QPS and QRS connections and the license status are showing green. Then open the server page and system settings and check the URL. If you do need to make any changes to the VMC, you will need to do a restart to save them. So that's the installation completed. It didn't take too long, did it? Don't forget to visit our community site where you can find the installation guide and the prerequisites document. And also, you can contact us from there if you've got any other technical questions. Thanks for watching.